Hello everyone, welcome to DSP NA Tape YouTube channel. I am Karnaka from EC department and I am here to explain about quantization errors in DFT computation using FFT algorithm. When a fast Fourier transform is implemented on a digital machine, quantization errors will be arise due to finite word lengths in digital system. Magnitude and characteristics of these errors must be known if FFT is to be designed with minimum word lengths needed for acceptable performance. So when we take FFT algorithm, it requires significantly fewer multiplications than the direct computation of DFT. In view of this, we might conclude computation of DFT via FFT algorithm will result in smaller quantization error. But this is not the case. Let us see how this is gonna happen by illustrating with an example. Let us consider the use of fixed point arithmetic in computation of radix to FFT algorithm. So to be more specific, if uh, I am taking radix to decimation in time algorithm by by taking n equals to 8. The results on quantization error whatever we obtain in radix to FFT algorithm will be same with other radix to and higher radix. So we are taking example of radix to decimation in time algorithm for computation of quantization errors and signal to noise ratio in case of FFT algorithms. You can see in the figure calculation of TFT of 8 point sequence using radix to decimation in time algorithm in the first is we have 4 butterflies in the second is 2 and in the last third is we have 1 so n by 4 n by 2 and n by 8 we can observe that uh, each butterfly combination involves one complex valued multiplication of equivalently 4 real multiplications we ignore the fact that some butterflies contain trivial multiplication by plus or minus 1 and below we have discussed the n by 2, n by 4 and n by 8, the number of butterflies in each stage. Consequently, in calculation of number of butterflies per output point, so by mathematical analysis, we get uh, Kaplan minus 1, where Kaplan in, the, uh, in this case, in the previous case, it is 8. So, we will be having 7 butterflies. So, we can see here, in this figure, we have 7 butterflies. This figure I have taken from progress textbook. The quantization errors introduced in each butterfly will propagate to the output. We have to note that quantization errors introduced in first butterfly propagate through V minus 1 stages and then in second stage propagate through V minus 2 stages and so on. Let us see this by taking an example. So if we take this example in this figure, uh, we are calculating caplex of 3. So to calculate caplex of 3, we have to calculate the intermediate values which will help in propagating quantization errors to the next stage. So as these quantization errors propagate through number of subsequent stages, they will be phase shifted by a first factor this much uh, Wn to the power Kn to the base n where this Wn W to the base n will be the equal factor. These phase rotations will not change the statistical properties of quantization error. Statical statistical properties will in particular will be the variance of the quantization error and this will want not be changed by quant uh, by this propagation. If we assume quantization errors in each butterfly are uncorrelated with errors in other butterflies, then there will be four into n minus one butterflies that affect the output of each each point of FFT. So consequently, the variance of the total quantization error will be this much the n into delta square by 3 where this the delta is 2 to the power minus b so quantization error variance of this quantization error will be n by 3 into 2 to the power minus 2b and this is exactly same as that we have obtained for the direct computation of tft in fact fft algorithm does not reduce the number of multiplications required to compute single point of dft however will reduce the multiplications in the computation of entire block of endpoints of it. as in case of direct computation of dft we have to scale input sequence to prevent overflow and this is gonna ha happen when magnitude of x of n is less than 1 by n where small n is in the range of 0 to n kaplan minus 1 then the magnitude of x of k will be less than 1 for k in the range 0 to kaplan minus 1 so in this ranges overflow will be avoided with this scaling, the relations obtained in direct combination of DFT apply to the FFT algorithm as well. Consequently, signal to noise ratio will be same in FFT as well as in the direct combination of TFT. Since FFT algorithm consists of sequence of stages, 
where each series contains butterflies that involve space of points, it is possible to devise a different scaling strategy that is not as severe as dividing each input point by n. In fact, this uh, alternate scaling strategy is motivated by observation that intermediate values magnitude of x of k in, in the n equals to 1 to v stages of FT algorithm satisfy the conditions. Uh, the conditions are the given below conditions. In view of these relations, we can distribute total scaling of 1 by n into each of the stages of FT algorithm. In particular, as we have seen in previous cases also, magnitude of x of n less than 1. We can apply scale factor of 1 by 2 in the first stage. So, magnitude of x of n will be less than 1 by 2. And subsequently, the overall scale factor will be 1 by 2 to the power of v. That equals to 1 by n. So, this scaling procedure, what we are doing uh, previous in the previous slide, these will not affect the signal level in the output of FFT algorithm. But significantly, it reduces the variance of quantized measure. Specifically, each factor of 1 by 2 reduces variance of quantization error a factor of 1 by 4. So, therefore, uh, if we take the uh, 4 into n by 2 quantization errors, we will introduce in the first stage, we will reduce variance by 1 by 4 to the power v minus 1, and so on that we have seen below. So, the total variance of quantization errors at the output of FFT algorithm is. The given below that is uh, 2 by 3 to 2 to the power minus 2b this is variance of quantization error and this is not uh, no longer proportional to n and also on the other hand the signal has variance 1 by 3 3n so hence signal to noise ratio will be 2 to the power 2b minus v minus 1 so by distributing scaling of 1 by n kaplan uniformly throughout the dft F, sorry fft algorithm we can achieve signal to noise ratio that is inversely proportional to n instead of n square this n square will be in the case of direct computation of dft but in case of fft algorithm we will be, we will be getting signal to noise ratio that is inversely proportional to n thank you